Hey, what's up, boys and girls? That's a quick overview of my M59-66. Um, you go SKS. I bought this one from a friend. Yeah, it was in pretty decent shape. Uh, I'm gonna probably clean it up and uh, fix a little bit of rust here and there. The Cosmoly has been removed and I restained the stock. It turned out pretty good, actually. Um, kind of original uh, looking. A little bit shiny, but uh, it's actually probably the light over here, as you can see. Anyway, um, uh, it's supposed to be used with this uh, Stepper clips, 10 rounds. This one happened to be the M67 one, the Yugoslavian standard ones. They're very difficult to find nowadays. Uh, those are corrosive, of course, but I like the performance of the round. It's slightly different than the one, the M43 ones, the Russian one. Um, the difference between this one and the M59, the one used to be made before, is pretty much uh, only the grenade launcher that you can see over there, capacity. Uh, the way it's supposed to work is very easy. You flip up the sights over there you want to call it and uh, the rifle was only possible shoot sorry the rifle just in um, manually and using blank round of course because you were using a grenade um, it was an interesting concept back in the time probably but nowadays kind of obsolete probably uh, what else um, uh, like some of the Yugo weapons actually um, they got some, uh, unfortunately with the time with the Cosmolin, they didn't work very well, I'm trying to clean it, but they, as you can see they got some interesting sights, they can be um, switch, as you can see over here, okay, from regular to night, night sights, um, it's a very interesting feature about the Yugoslavian rifle in general, um, this one, like I said, was in pretty good shape, except for some minor rat spot like you can see over here that the guy tried to clean send it but it didn't really blue so i'm gonna touch up and uh, okay you got over here it can also be open magazine box just in case if you want to remove the rounds um like i said it's very like a, it works pretty much like a regular sks as you can see turned out pretty good it has a bayonet like all the sks this one is more similar to the russian one um, like I said, it's an interesting, one of my favorite probably rifles, the Cold War rifles. Uh, I don't want to say, but probably my preferred platform for the 7.62. I got the impression that it's just me maybe, but um, I'm enjoying more shooting this one than uh, some other, uh, like AK, you know. This one at least is a little bit more precise. Of course, limited from the 10 round, and um, the AK of course is a little bit more combat proven um, I doubt a body than the SKS can get dirty like an AK probably and war still working but again I never tried so I'm not really sure about it um, that's it um, let me think if you get one if you like it if you have one too if you like it and thank you for watching bye